Hello class, this is section 5.2 and in this video we are going to discuss the stern Liouville problems. As you may recall, in the partial differential equations that we have already covered in this class, the heat equation, the vibrating string equation and the Laplace equation, the boundary value or eigenvalue equation problems tend to be pretty important and stern Liouville problems are a more general class of these eigenvalue or boundary value type problems. So this is how it looks like. You've taken the derivative um, of px of the derivative of fx plus qx of fx plus lambda. Lambda is a constant which has the same meaning as the constant in our previous boundary value problems. Sigma x times fx equals zero. The px, the qx, and the sigma x are all functions that are given in the problem and this stern Liouville problem typically comes with boundary values which we will discuss a little later in the video but first let us talk about how we can get our original boundary value type problem so if we set px as just a constant function 1 and we set qx as 0 and sigma x as another constant function 1 what we obtain is that we get the derivative of the derivative of f, so the second derivative of f, qx is 0, and sigma x is 1, so we're just left with lambda fx equals 0. So our usual boundary value problem is covered under the stern Liouville problems. It's, it's a special case. In this class, our boundary value problems are going to be restricted within a uh, a real interval a b and we have information about how the function fx behaves at the boundary that is at a or at b the first type of boundary condition is known as the Dirichlet condition or a boundary condition of the first kind we have seen this in several different contexts already for the heat equation on the one dimensional rod it means that we just set one end of the rod to be at 0 Celsius or 0 Kelvin at all time. This is also the boundary condition for our vibrating string equation when we fix the ends of the string. We also have this Neumann condition, also known as a boundary condition of the second kind. This is when we set the derivative of the function at the boundary to be 0. We have seen this before in the context of the one-dimensional heat equation. It is when we have a rod, but one side of it is perfectly insulated. As you can see, my very well-drawn cotton wool on the side of a pipe over here. There is a third type of boundary condition that we have not seen. It is known as the Robin condition, and it appears when we have the derivative of the function equal to a constant times the function itself at one of the boundary points and this boundary condition when applied to the one dimensional heat equation describes what physicists call Newton's law of cooling. We will talk a bit about that in class. There is another type of boundary condition that we have in fact seen before. It is when the function is equal at both boundaries and the derivative of the function is equal at both boundaries this is known as a periodic condition and this appears in the heat equation when the left side and the right side of the rod are connected such as in the case when the rod is actually a circle. We call this equation a mixed type and it actually behaves a little differently than the first three kinds of boundary conditions. We will explore this a little bit later in the course.